Welcome to Sacred Success, The Alchemy of Spiritual Business, where Michelle Barr talks to conscious entrepreneurs and spiritual seekers about creating a better life and a better business now. Building your own business is the most intensive personal and spiritual growth and development course you could ever enroll in. And that's why Michelle does the work she does for you. We're glad you're here with Michelle Barr on the Own Times Radio Network. Michelle Barr, your sacred business success coach. And this is Sacred Business Success on Ohm Times Radio. Bear with me today with my voice. I have been using it a lot, and I'm going to tell you all about that. And I am learning to take better care of my voice as my business has gone more and more adding that whole platform of speaker. I have got a story of my journey to share with you, the next leg of that journey. I've got gifts for you. I've got resources for you. And then we're going to really dive into the basics. And I'm going to take you to the basics. First, I'm going to talk to you about my impact and income acceleration formula. And then we're going to really dive into the marketing and the mindset. So I have a lot that I want to share with you on this show. Starting out, I want to dive in that it has been a big week for me and a big couple of weeks. I was training speakers in this amazing new program that I'm part of, helping add speaking as a platform. So to go back to the beginning, I started building my business. My business was completely personal and spiritual growth and development. And you can see that incarnation of my business at the art of taking action.com. I left it all up. I still talk to people through it. There are tons of free resources. It's all about taking inspired action, the mindset, the energy management, and the intuitive development. Then I actually made money at something that a lot of people hold a lot of beliefs that you can't make money around. So I started getting hired as a business coach. So I picked up that whole piece and I brought it with me. And that's my own secret sauce to my coaching is I am an intuitive and a strategist, and I learned building my business. I'm a systemic thinker, and I'm intuitive, and I love strategy, and so I'm able to see all the moving parts. I'm able to see when people bring to me all the pieces, how they all fit together, and that is how I built a successful business, and I'm going to talk to you today about exactly that part. I'm going to give you some pieces that you either want to start building or assess if you don't have these in place. So I learned how to build what I call the foundation, this hub. And then once you have that, I built that in 2012. I've never had to build it again, and I continue to build on it. So I built this thriving, profitable, freedom-based business based on My gifts, my calling, the purpose and meaning in my life, my past experiences, what I really felt I'm made to do in the world. I was doing a lot of what I can do, but there's a difference in what I can do and what I'm made to do. And wow, when I finally hit on what I'm made to do and I started showing up fully in the world every day, bringing that, being that, and doing that, my life became so blessed, a blessing of what came into my life and enriched my life and all the people I was able to serve. Because the truth is you've got to be able to take care of yourself to take care of these other people who are showing up. I lived the other way a very long time, and I was broke, and my family suffered. I created financial disaster for my family, and I really didn't do a whole lot for the people that I was trying to help, trying to save and rescue, because they didn't value it. They didn't invest in themselves. That's a whole story on its own, which led me to this place where I've built this foundation, so 
first the art of taking action, the personal and spiritual growth development business. And I built a full business online with that, with clients all over the world. Then I started getting asked to coach people in business, people just like me, the helpers and healers, the right brain, creative visionaries of the world who have a message and they have a purpose. They're spiritual teachers, they're messengers, they're expert thought leaders or they're thought leaders that want to become expert thought leaders. They have books in them. They have talks in them. All of that was me. I now have products programs, private coaching. I speak, I teach, I coach, I have books. That is the bigger platform. So my business grew from about 50-50 of the art of taking action, the personal and spiritual growth and development to 50-50 business coaching. And then I released my spiritual business school and my business became even more the business coaching, but building a spirit-led business, turning your life's calling into a profitable business you love. It's all about creating a vision of the life you want to live and then create a business that supports and sustains that. Do you see the difference from other people's approach to building a business? My clients don't really come into this saying, I want to build a business. Should I buy a Subway franchise? I like lamps. Should I sell lamps and furniture? Should I sell jewelry? They come in with these gifts and this calling and a craving for purpose and meaning in their lives. And they want to turn that into a business so they can do that and only that. And that was my first goal. I want to do this. I'm going to show up. I'm going to do what I am made to do. And I don't want to have to do anything else. And I have not been employed by anyone else since 2006. This works. It really works. It's a journey. It's a process. All along the way, it has grown and grown and grown. And I'm going to share numbers with you today. I'm very transparent because we need to know. On the one hand, there is challenge, there's struggle, there's work, there's investment that has to happen. On the other hand, people don't always trust those big numbers, and they are real. They are real in the coaching business, in the personal and spiritual growth business. We see some of the really big folks out there, but I'm talking about my own coaches, mentors, and teachers with multi-million dollar businesses as coaches, speakers, teachers, and authors. So I want you to know both. It takes you getting in there and making it happen, and those are not just pie-in-the-sky numbers. I'm going to share with you my numbers along the journey because it's exciting. It's a big part of this whole piece that I'm talking to you today about. I launched a brand new website, michellebarspeaks.com. So going back to the resources, sometimes I get ahead of myself. I have so much in my head to share with you. The art of taking action.com, the original incarnation of my business. It had a few pieces before that, but that is when it, it took traction and it became very sustainable and profitable. Then I built michellebar.com. You can also get there by going to from calling to cash.com. That's the business I've been running for the past two and a half years. The foundation, the hub. And now I'm building the bigger platform. For the past two years, I've been living it. I never come and teach you until I go out and figure out how to do it and actually get results I can share with you. So while I was teaching people through my spiritual business school and my unlimited profits for intuitive women to go out there and build this hub, build this foundation, start getting clients, create a profitable business you love, I had already done that so I could teach you and feel very confident about it. 
Meanwhile, the past two years, I've been building the expanded platform off that foundation as coach, speaker, teacher, and author. So now with this new website, I'm really expanding to help people that are really to build that platform. You don't have to already have the foundation. I can teach you to build it all at once. Or if you're ready to move off whatever foundation you have, we can clean it up. And then I can teach you to build the bigger platform. So I am still serving clients. It is my sweet spot. Teaching you how to build the business, build the foundation, build the tribe and serve them. Build the platform. and Now, I have a whole body of work. I've launched a new program, a four-month program, Impact and Income, and a private coaching program that goes along with that. All of this will teach you how to build that bigger platform. That website is michellebarspeaks.com. And what I want you to know, take a minute, go over there now, or if you're listening to this and you can't get to the computer, go over there later. Because the first thing I have for you, I've got a free gift for you called my Impact and Income Acceleration Formula. I invite you to go to the website. I have videos there. I have resources. I have this free gift. Download the formula. There's a powerful exercise I use with my coaching clients. I invite you to set some sacred space for yourself. Go through the exercise and then get on the phone with me and let's talk about it. Okay, I will be right back. Go to michellebarspeaks.com. Check it out. Then come back here because we are going to dive in and give you some really nuts and bolts and some meat today. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Have you been searching for a perspective beyond the mainstream? Check it out. Join your hosts, Yelita Pasqual and Diana Gold Holland, on Share International Radio for thought provoking views behind the news. Sundays at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio. You can also find us at shareontheairradio.org. This may be the message of hope you've been waiting for. Have you ever wondered how to change your love paradigm? The secret key is finding a love partnership, not just a regular connection. How do you find these? Through conscious relationships, Ascending Hearts Dating is a dating site for people like you that believes in second chances and a different type of spiritual connection. Try Ascending Hearts for free today at AscendingHearts.com and change your love paradigm. Ascending Hearts, the premier dating community for the spiritually awake. Live with Medium Lisa Phoenix, mediumship messages and musings, explores mediumship and all things metaphysical. Lisa Phoenix invites you to reach above and beyond your everyday experiences to explore new dimensions in the spirit world. 
She will do live readings to connect callers to their loved ones in spirit, shares engaging stories and teachings from her own personal experience, and will have intriguing conversations with other mediums, spiritual teachers, and healers to help you understand the metaphysical world so you can connect to these forces in your day-to-day life. Join your host on this magical and metaphysical journey into the world of spirit every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Free your mind. Expand your soul. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello. Welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. So we have been talking about the growth and the journey of a business, starting a business, what are the basics? What are the foundations? I shared with you a little bit of my journey. So let me tell you how that went for me. I came in, I wanted to start building my business. I talk about my story. I first had a very expensive hobby because I didn't know the business building and I had to learn the business building. And once I learned that it turned everything around. So first I built that business, then I started growing that business. I had private clients, then I started creating programs. Now I have products that came out of those programs. I show you how to build all of that. If you picture this wheel, this hub, and you build the foundation, then there are all these folks, workshops, retreats, live events, book, products, programs, You can get creative, all kinds of things. And then you start choosing which of those you want to build when. You start with that solid foundation. One of the biggest payoffs to this, what I call the well-oiled machine, the solid foundation, is that it pushes your valuable content out into the world And brings people to you so that when people show up in my world, they've been coming into my world, being nurtured and fed because of what I'm doing. I'm not having to chase them down or keep track of them. They ask to get on the phone with me or they email me or even Facebook message me. I'm in all those places. And then they become clients. It's great for people like us because we have a message. We want to get out there with our message. For a lot of us, marketing is secondary. And it's something that needs to be done. At first, I really struggled with it. And then I learned that it's really another way for me to get out there with who I am and what I do. And I learned to love it because of this well-oiled machine. And because I get to create content, now I actually give more away for free than I ever did before. And I'm not broke because of this business model. So it really works. I ended up being a statistic in the beginning. There is a statistic out there that a large majority of coaches, people who consider themselves having a coaching business, make about $10,000 a year. So you can imagine when people get frustrated and discouraged and they think those pie in the sky numbers don't work. I am in a mastermind right now. So just where I really know people, I know them well, and I know those numbers aren't pie in the sky and my own numbers. In a group of 20 entrepreneurs building coaching businesses at that level, the one on the lowest end was making over a hundred thousand and at the highest end, 1.2 million. So I'm just giving you an idea before that I was in a mastermind that was a big mastermind with several hundred people and everywhere from people being broke, people being in debt, to people building multi-six-figure businesses. So these are not just numbers I make up or I've heard about or I get an email and their newsletter and their video told me so. I have been in this long enough now that I can come to you with these numbers and they're honest numbers, and that's important to me. Because, again, I went out and I explored this. 
before ever bringing it to you. Pretty much every coach that I've studied with now has reached a million dollar business or beyond. I have not been without a coach since 2009. I talk about that a lot. So that's going to be a big piece for you, getting a coach, getting coaches that work for you and doing this thing. So I was one of those statistics. I mean, first it was amazing when I said, wow, I actually made money. I'm making money at this. Now I've got my little handful of clients. I love it. I'm serving those clients. And now, wow, I'm making about $10,000 a year. Okay, I need to make more. So that was before I really got serious and learned how to do this as a business. And then pretty quickly, I learned how to create three to $5,000 a month. I'm talking about all this now because I talk about all of this in my impact and income acceleration formula. Pretty quickly, once you understand how it works and what to do, I was able very quickly to start creating a recurring, consistent three to $5,000 a month. Well, now you're in business. I still wasn't hitting 50000 a year, and that was a big target goal for me. Everyone is going to have this threshold, this thing you push up against that you struggle against until you break through it. For me, I had worked my entire life in nonprofits. I was always paid by donations, by grants, by other people. Think about this. I had never accepted money from the people that I was helping. I had a lot of mindset stuff about money. I was in spiritual communities and healing communities where there's a lot of junk about money. So I had never made $50,000 in my life. I had received more than 50000 in my life. I'm a really good manifester. I had manifested money in all kinds of ways, but I had never earned through any kind of work 50000 a year. So when I broke through that 50000 it was a huge barrier for me. It was easier to get from fifty to a hundred thousand. So where my impact and income acceleration formula meets you that you can find at michellebarspeaks.com. M I C H E L L E B A R R speaks S P E A K S dot com is all the way from that beginning. Zero ten thousand dollars under fifty thousand fifty thousand to a hundred thousand plus that's who i'm speaking to there will be something in it for everyone to take with them that is really who i'm speaking to that's who shows up in my world to be served once you can learn to create consistent income and recurring income, then you're on your way to having a sustainable business. Remember, a big piece for me was to be able to create a vision of the life I wanted to live and then create a business that supports and sustains that. It's very important to me, and I was able to do that well on my way. So this shows you the impact and income acceleration formula, how to get moving, how to create the basics, and then how to accelerate your impact and income. Because first I learned to build the foundation. I created the foundation. I got it going. I got money. First, you're spiking a lot in your money. And so just learning to create consistent money. But then to really accelerate it, I had to learn how to accelerate my impact. That's all about building that well-oiled machine and then building the platform and getting out there everywhere. And then that accelerated my income. So again, I invite you to go to michellebarspeaks.com. Download the formula, the Impact and Income Acceleration Formula, 
set aside some sacred space and some time for yourself. Set up some personal success strategies for yourself right now. I teach lots of personal success strategies. This is so important. Set aside time and space for that. There's an exercise. Go through the exercise. And then there's an invitation to connect with me so we can talk about it, so we can do it. And I always tell people, I have some people that just, they're not following through, they're putting things off, they're not getting started, they're getting stuck because there's something bigger going on. There's a bigger block going on. If that's true, just skip straight through to contacting me. Let's get on the phone and let's pound that out. Let's work that out. Let's discover. Let's dig deeper. Let's shift that so you can move forward. I have found you only need to know your next step. You've been asking. Here is the next step. You've come across it in whatever way you've ended up here finding out about this. That's all you need. You don't need to know the next step after that. Do the step and the next step will appear. I've given you download the formula, go through the formula, do the exercise, contact me so we can talk live. Right there. Breathe. Is that a sigh of relief or this feeling like that's all I need to do next? That's the only thing I need to do next. And it's sitting there for you right now. If you've been asking, here's an opportunity. Here's one answer that's showing up. So I encourage you again, don't put it off. Don't say you're going to go do it later. Go to michellebarspeaks.com and download the formula. Then we're connected. Then you can get on with your life, your day, your busyness, everything. But we're connected. And then set aside some sacred space for yourself and just do this and see what happens. See what shows up. When I work with people, it's multi layers deep. Okay. When we get back in just a second, so go do that. Then join me back here. I am going to dive into the basics. What are you doing wrong? What can you do right? The marketing to make it work and the mindset to make it happen. I'll be right back. This is Michelle Barr. Feed your soul with waves of consciousness on Ohm Times Radio. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. What if living didn't have to be so serious? What if you could move beyond your problems with greater confidence and ease than you've ever imagined? Throw your labels out the window and join the irreverent therapist for practical tips and a very different way of approaching the changes you would like to create. Marilyn Bradford and Pam Hodling have empowered hundreds of people to come out of self-judgment, quit looking to experts, and begin to create the lives they desire. Join us Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern on The Irreverent Therapist Show. Are you trying to get from point A to point B and need a little advice? Connect with the counselors at Ohm Times Advisors. Whether you're looking for a life coach or a spiritual intuitive, the advisors participating at advisors.ohmtimes.com were carefully chosen based on their gifts, skills, and professionalism. Ohm Times Advisors. Connecting you with the best advisors in the business. Come heal yourself. What is healing? Healing is nothing but connecting with your all-knowing higher self that already has solutions to all your problems and is always there to guide you. Through this show, we help you to connect with that you are and tap into that innate potential you have to transform your life 
and fly high. Please join me, your host Monica Goyal, every Sunday, 7 p.m. Pacific. Namaste. The future of Internet Radio is here. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Welcome back. This is Michelle Barr, Sacred Business Success on Ohm Times Radio Network. I don't know if you saw, but I was really excited last week, along with the launch of my new website, Michelle Barr Speaks, where you can get your gift. But Ohm Times Radio, my entire series, I have almost 40 shows. You can now get them through iTunes. They can be downloaded right into your iTunes account. Every time I did a show, I gave you practical, powerfully practical and spiritually rich tools. And I taught you from the things that I teach my clients and students. You can now access all of those shows. You can subscribe and not miss a thing. If you have a road trip coming up, I have a big road trip coming up. I always download on my phone things I can listen to. I have turned my car into a rolling library, so no matter where I'm driving, I always have things I can listen to. That raises your vibration, it teaches you, and it gets you moving in the direction of your dreams and desires. I want to talk to you a little bit now about, when I talk about when I released my spiritual business school and then later my Unlimited Profits for Intuitive Women I found that it takes both the marketing to make it work and the mindset to make it happen. And so I'm going to talk about both of those today. So I found there were times and there still are times when I knew the marketing because remember I was hiring coaches and they'd say, go do this. And I didn't have the mindset to sell myself at that level, to come up with the copy, to really show the value in what I do or whatever it was, to invite people to show up at something or even just to take an action step. And I needed the mindset. There are other times I had a really strong mindset but I needed the marketing strategy. So I have made sure over the past few years to have both. That's what took me to zero, to 10,000, to 24,000, to 50,000, to 100,000, to over $100,000 a year in just a few years. Last year, I was consistently completely full of private clients along with my programs and products. Doesn't that sound great? And because of the well-oiled machine, while I was working serving clients, they were finding me. They were finding me and showing up, and we were having conversations. Excuse me, I'm trying to only cough during the breaks. I have been using my voice more than ever, and I have been on the road a lot the past two months. I love travel, and when I work from home, I'm by myself a lot, so I love connecting face-to-face with people. So I have built a business that includes a lot of travel. That's another payoff of building a business like this. When I started building it, I had children still at home, but I knew how many years until I was going to be an empty nester. You can build this at whatever pace, in whatever way you want, to fit every stage of your life. I have clients with brand new babies. I have clients with young children at home. I have clients with no children at home. Every age and stage, and it works because you build it how you want it. You build it to work for you. So now I've built a lot of travel into my business. So I've been traveling. So I've been on the road. So your eating and your sleeping gets disrupted, your hours. 
being in airplanes and hotel rooms, and I have been speaking a lot. And I started getting some sinus stuff. We get what's called cedar fever here in the Texas Hill Country, and I felt it coming on. And then I spent two days talking nonstop. I had a group of speakers who had flown into Austin, Texas, from all over the United States to train because they're working on this formula and they're working to be speakers, both to get paid to give keynotes and to speak so that they can sell their businesses. If this interests you at all, then just reach out and contact me at michellebar.com. Hit the contact tab. You can also contact me through Michelle Bar Speaks and The Art of Taking Action. I'm on Facebook every day. I would love to invite you to come experience this, to come to Austin, Texas, to talk to me about what I might have to offer you in all these areas. So if anything I'm talking about stands out for you, just get in touch with me. I wrote a blog recently because I'm hearing this all the time. What am I doing wrong? It's that whole build it and they will come. Well, I built it and then I wondered why aren't they coming? I even created a meme about it on Facebook because that's how I felt. So newsletters, blogs, videos, what am I doing wrong? I talk with potential clients almost every day and I hear this often. I heard sending out a newsletter is a great way to get clients. So I did it, and I didn't hear from anyone. I wrote a blog like they tell you to do, and nothing happened. On a webinar I listened to recently, they said videos are a hot way to market right now. So I made a few, and they didn't work for me. What am I doing wrong? I hear this a lot. I've been there. You may be shaking your head right now. Yes. Too many people come into this world of building their own business and they find more information than they could ever consume. So they start taking it all in. You get on all these mailing lists, freebie opt-in, video series, webinar, email course, and on and on and on. There are so many of these things out there for you because they work. It's one way that I serve people for free, and I love it. I still use those things to get information I need, to get inspiration, to know if what I'm thinking about can be done, to follow in the footsteps of others who are being, doing, and having where I'm called next. But you will never build a solid, sustainable, profitable business by consuming pieces of free content from a bunch of different people all over the internet. Believe me, I have consumed my fair share of it, and I still do, when I know what I need, and I know how to use it to create results. Remember, I also have not been without a coach since 2009. The problem is you need to understand how all these things work together. You want to know what to do when and why. I'm talking to you about this because it's my sweet spot. It's what I can do best for you. I have built my business using the well-oiled machine. I put into place after hiring the right coaches and learning the right things to do from people who had the results I wanted. Here's the well-oiled machine. The well-oiled machine brings potential clients to your door. They consume your valuable content, follow the path you have laid out for them, and show up asking to get on the phone with you. By the time you talk with them, they are often ready to hire you and just want to either talk to a live person or ask a few questions, find out your pricing, those kind of things. The well-oiled machine shows you how to be pursued rather than pursuing. That was a big one for me, a big turning point. It frees up my time and energy to do what I love and what I'm best at. 
That doesn't mean I'm not following up. That doesn't mean I'm not proactive, but it's a different way. It's a different energy. It's a different way of being and doing. The well-oiled machine allows you to build a foundation that will last you forever. Imagine knowing what to, what to do, and when to do it all the time. Picture a hub, your foundation, and all these spokes extending from it, like I talked about before. Once you build the foundation, then you can start building any of the spokes you choose, the ones that fit you best. The well-oiled machine, the hub, consists of your website, email system, social media profiles, plus a PayPal account. That is all you need to get started. Once your foundation is in place, then you can get yourself and your content out into the world and have a way for people to make it back to you so you can get hired and get paid, all while making a big difference in the lives of others. It's all about making others' lives better while also making your own life better. It really is. I've taught for a long time, after I learned it myself, the challenging and sometimes painful way, if the highest good of all does not include you, it is not the highest good of all. Build the foundation, the well-oiled machine, and then build the platform and build a tribe and serve them. This works. I've been showing entrepreneurs how to do this for several years now. It's how I took my own business from under 10000 a year to 50000 and then to 100000 I did that in just about two years' time. After circling and struggling for a few years before that, you can rise above the noise by building a solid foundation and then getting your valuable content out into the world in a way that brings your potential clients to your door, wanting more and ready to see what you have to offer them. I invite you to explore this with me more. I've created solutions for you. If you want to get on the phone and talk with me, contact me. MichelleBarrSpeaks.com. Go download the formula and I'll be back to talk about mindset. The best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the Internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Om Times endeavor. Host your show with Om Times Radio Network. Hey ladies, do you want to have that good hair day feeling all the time? Gentlemen, would you want your special someone to have that glow letting you know she is feeling completely satisfied? This feeling and that glow can be yours by embracing your sexual power. So join me, Rachel Kenley, award-winning romance author on The O-Spot. The O-Spot will guide you to that peak with guest interviews, book discussions, and conversations on the thrills of sexual empowerment. Put the zing back in your life. Come up and see me sometime on The O-Spot, live on Hump Day at 10 p.m. Eastern. Simone Millicis would like you to know that business can be fun, which is why she wrote the book, Joy of Business. What if you could have the joy of business rather than the stress and struggle? Most of the time, the only thing stopping you from a thriving business is you. In the Joy of Business book, Simone gives you access consciousness tools and pragmatic ways to get out of your own way and to create the business, life, and living you know is possible and beyond what this reality says is achievable. Business is joy. It's creation. It's generative. It can be the adventure of living. You can purchase your copy of the book through Amazon or Joy of Business website, www.accessjoyofbusiness.com.
Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are are the inspired inspired and the inspiration. inspiration. A conscious lifestyle for a mindful life. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Hello, welcome back. Thank you for staying with me here today. So just to recap, new website, new gift for you, new resources. You can see me find out about my book, The Entrepreneur's Guide to Taking Action. Find out. You can watch me give my keynote that I gave on the book. You can watch my TV interview that is coming out this year. This year, I'm not sure the date yet, but I had an interview about my book and my work. And you'll be able to see a piece of that TV interview on the ripple effect. I'm very excited about it. So you will actually see on michellebarspeaks.com how I built this platform, how I'm building it, how I'm getting on stages, giving my keynote, publishing my book, getting interviewed on TV shows, and what I'm doing to get clients. I'm going to go back to the biggest and earliest mindset block I see. I deal with lots of them all along the way, and I talk about them on my shows. This is by far the biggest and earliest one. And I wrote a blog about it once. And the title of it was, I mean, who am I to offer anything to anyone? There was a time I felt like that myself. And so people wait and they put off. You will never get accurate feedback until you're actually out there doing it and being it and learning and growing. This kind of business grows organically. It grows organically. And so you will only be able to do that by getting out there. And what I learned from the beginning, if you go all the way back to the theartoftakingaction.com, you will see that I just started serving clients with what I had where I was. Somebody told me something that has stayed with me, and it has been so great, and that is that your ideal client right now is just two steps behind you. There's some fire that you've walked through. They're just two steps behind you, and they just need you to reach back and bring them from where they are to where they where you are. And in doing that, in receiving money for that, in working with those clients, you will continue to grow, and then you can reach back again. I did not ever get any traction or get anywhere until I just jumped in and did it. My first work with my clients was really good work for those clients at that time. And then I grew into other work, even in business building. All I could do was show them, here, I walked through this fire, I did this, and it worked. Then as I learned more and I did more and it worked, I was able to offer them more. But people showed up to work with me, to pay me for that work every step of the way. So I have a question for you. What do you feel right now is your work in the world? Don't overthink this. Instead, let go of attachment to what it should be or could be. Let go of the struggle to come up with an answer. Relax into the place where you know that you know. Allow the answer to emerge, to bubble up from within you and show itself. Today, so many are stuck living according to what they have accepted as reality. And I do that in air quotes. Yet what they're doing is leaving them stressed, exhausted, dissatisfied, restless, 
and experiencing dis-ease, which turns in often to disease. I had a time in my life where I experienced this. I have a powerful story about having an undiagnosed illness for seven years until it became debilitating, incapacitating, and then it went away and it never came back. When I started living my purpose, living my calling, showing up and doing what I do and who I am and what I'm made to do and what I'm here to do. You see this all the time. The people who show up in my world who come to me have a sense of a deeper purpose. Something is nudging them. Something is calling out to them and beckoning for a response. Where the inner conflict is coming in is in the not knowing exactly how to respond and answer the call. Most often there is an intention to pay attention and do something about this and an accompanying desire for a fuller experience that will come from a truer expression of oneself. But the time isn't right. I'm much too busy. I have too many obligations and other priorities right now. I need to be in a better place. I need to learn more. I should get some certifications first. I mean, who am I to offer anything to anyone? Oh, I'm working on it, but it's not perfect yet. I believe there's such a thing as our holy work and that it is true for each one of us. One of my mentors said to me a few years ago, your business is your holy work and your holy work is being asked for at this time by more people than ever before. I mean, wow. I had kept my work, my business, and my holy work separate in my first parts of my life, yet they were calling to be integrated. Another payoff of this work is that you become totally integrated. I am the same however and wherever and whenever you know me. I show up all parts of my life. I get to live my life and share this journey and make a living and answer my calling and live my purpose. It's true. Your business is your holy work and your holy work is being asked for at this time by more people than ever before. You came here at, a t at this time to be a part of all this. You came here with something to do. You have something to offer. There are people just two steps behind you, looking ahead to where you are and wanting to know how you got there, how you overcame what you did. They want to learn from you and you have something to share with them. When you are not offering your gifts to the world, you don't feel good. Others don't receive it. And there is a lack of abundance all the way around. The only thing that is going to make you ready to fully participate in your life and your journey is to show up and engage yourself in it. The only thing that heals you is to be you. What the world needs more of is you being you. I asked you the question, what do you feel right now is your work in the world? And I want to ask you a second question. Are you doing any of it? The world needs us. We hear that a lot. And I believe it's very true. Now more than ever. What I know to be even more true is that we need us. You need you. My coach's challenge to you, spend some time with these questions and allow what is inside of you to emerge. Then look honestly at where you are showing up in the world right now as you 
and where you are showing up in ways that don't make you feel good. What is one thing you can be doing that is a fuller expression of your work in the world? This doesn't have to be on a grand scale. It just needs to be something. What is one thing you can begin doing that will give you a fuller experience of your true self? I would love to hear what comes up for you. Come find me on Facebook. Let me know your thoughts. Let's start a dialogue. When you share, others are able to benefit and the whole community is served and you are served at such a deep and beautiful level. Nothing else compares. So that is my coach's challenge to you. And I've already given you your next step, your best next step, because you walk away from right now already having it. Go to michellebarspeaks.com. Download the Impact and Income Acceleration Formula. Set aside sacred space and time for yourself to go through it. Do the exercise. When I work with you, it is multi-leveled and multi-layered. Then follow the instructions you receive next to contact me. Let's go through it. Let's talk about it. And if you really feel like you need to talk before that, just go to michellebarspeaks.com, click on contact, contact me, and let's talk. I'm so glad you were here today. Go grab my other radio shows in the archives on iTunes and come back. I will see you again. I'm here every week. MichelleBarspeaks.com. Have a great day.